My thigh could touch this huge gap, which is super ultra dirty. What should I do? Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Eats. Today is a great day because a kanjo a day keeps maggots away. I'm gonna be talking about seven more things that shocked me about America. When I was visiting America, the chewing gum was everywhere on the street, under the table, it just everywhere. When we are in the food court, I sat on the bench. Turn it a bit. When I got home, there's a big chewing gum on my favorite red skirt. Oh my god, I was so, so, so sad. And of course, I had to bring it to my uh, dry cleaners and dry cleaner lady said, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is, but I, we just couldn't remove it completely. And as you know, the gum comes with the paper. I'm sure when you finish chewing gum, you wrap it with the paper and throw it away. Why don't people use it? In Japan, uh, we don't spit gum. So when you visit Japan next time, please put your hands under the table or under the desk. You will not find a single gum. Next is graffitis. Why do Americans write on walls? When I went to a donut shop, the entire door of the donut shop was filled with graffiti and also curved, almost like a design of the door. Is it seen as like a expressing themselves or something? In Japan, graffiti is like something that you get punished. Like, of course, we are not allowed to write something on somebody's like shutters or public walls or anything like that. You'll be punished. But unfortunately, um, some tourists actually write or do graffitis when they come to Japan. In Arashiyama, Kyoto, uh, we have a very beautiful bamboo forest. But we, we've seen a lot of like a curvings and graffitis on the bamboo. And because of the curving on the bamboo, bamboo can die very, very quickly. The manager of the area says, He's beyond outraged and is heartbroken. He also says the trees could rot from the carvings. If that happens, he would need to chop and dispose them. But actually, there's one case Japanese person, Japanese guy, actually was caught by uh, doing graffiti uh, in the temple's wall. And guess who found him? Tourist. Good job! So in the last video, I talked about the huge, huge gap in the bathroom stalls. But why do you guys have a gap in the toilet seat? I think you really like gaps because you even have a store called Gap. Usually Japanese people, when they use a bathroom, they tend to close their legs. Maybe only women, I'm not sure. My thigh could touch this huge gap which is super ultra dirty, then I have to think about, okay, I don't want to touch this gap. What should I do? There's a solution. Some toilet in America, you guys have a toilet seat cover. I just place the paper nicely so I don't have to touch the dirty gap. When I try to sit, I just flush it. The automatic flushing things. And it took my seat cover. So when I sat down, it's it's supposed to be here, but it's gone already. Why do you need a, such a huge gap on the toilet seat? You know, Japanese toilet is like a donut shape. So we have no gap between the toilet seat. It's like a one circle. But because of the gap, the gap is so dirty, right? Because it's maybe the dirtiest part on the toilet seat. I want to ask, do Americans spread their leg when they use the bathroom? Otherwise, you know, your thigh gonna touch the dirty part. Next is, you can buy guns in Walmart. Ah, oh, I was so shocked. There's a small section that has a lot of guns. Of course, it was in the display and it has a lock. But I have, the, I have never seen guns so close to me. And I could just, you know, if I'm a bad guy, I can just, you know, break the glass and then take the guns. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> Walmart is a grocery store, right? Grocery store, you see guns. And then next to that gun section, there's a, just a shelf. There are boxes of bullets. My brother-in-law opened the box and then showed it to me. This is a blitz. Oh my God, I've never seen blitz. Isn't it so dangerous 
to you know to be able to access so easily. Like oh, as a Japanese, I was super shocked to see guns in the display and the bullets are just just you can just take it. My husband told me when he was in elementary school, every student have to do the pledge of allegiance. I was very very surprised to hear that. Like every student have to remember the lines and then they stand up and look at the American flag and then say the pledge. In Japan, we don't have such a thing at all. And this is something most Japanese students who study in America were so surprised to do that. When I saw it on uh, on YouTube, I thought it's very beautiful actually. You respect your country, you are proud of your country. Also, I saw a lot of American flags everywhere. I'm not talking about souvenir shops in America, but a lot of houses just hung flag, banks, restaurants. In Japan, a lot of householders don't really own Japanese flag. People who hang Japanese flag, they they usually hang it only like a national holidays. So when I was on a train in New York, I heard a lot of people talking. A lot of people. It was pretty crowded, but you know, there are people next to me just standing and talking to each other. One day, I heard really really loud noise coming from my back. And then I thought like a flash mob was happening or something, but there was a guy just using his cell phone without earphones, playing the music really loud and then walking like yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So loud. But in Japan, we try to be as quiet as we can for the other passengers. And we even have to be mindful to the volume that coming out from your headphones when you're listening to music. Next is tipping culture. In Japan, we don't tip. Of course, Japanese people when they visit America, they know that they need to tip the person, you know, at the restaurant or in a taxi or maybe delivery person. And when I was visiting America, I was so 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 surprised to see that how tipping is so powerful way to get better service. When my husband and I are heading back to Japan, it was uh, at the airport in America. Our luggage was overweight, but the luggage handler said, "If you take care of me, I'll take care of you." And I was, hmm? I was like so confused. Well, what does it mean? And then my husband actually gave him some money as a tip, and he, you know, he took a look at the, you know, some notes and just, okay, you guys are ready to go. And he just, he just let the, our luggage pass in the checking counter. It would never ever happen in Japan if the person luggage handler in Japan took the money from the customer. Oh my God, he or she will be such a big big trouble. They might have to leave the job or something. So when you come to Japan, please do not tip us. <laughs> All right, those are the seven more things that shocked me about America. Please let me know why do you guys do it in the comment below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Okini.